Hello and welcome to our presentation on unsupervised audiovisual lecture segmentation. I am Darshan and this work is done with Anshit Gupta, C.V. Jawahar and Makran Tapasvi at IIIT Hyderabad. The last decade has seen a significant increase in online lecture content. However, video language research has primarily focused on instructional videos or movies and tools to help students navigate the growing online lectures are lacking. Creating an online course along with tasks such as segmenting the lectures, adding quiz-like questions requires tremendous effort from the instructor. Our goal is to encourage the community to address these tasks automatically or at least provide automatic recommendations for a human in the loop system. Our first contribution in this work is to facilitate research in the educational domain by introducing AV Lectures, a large-scale dataset consisting of 86 courses with over 2,350 lectures covering various STEM subjects. Our second contribution is formulating and benchmarking the lecture segmentation task where given a long video lecture, our goal is to temporarily segment it into smaller bite-sized topics. Each course in our dataset consists of video lectures, corresponding transcripts, OCR outputs, and optionally lecture notes, slides, and other metadata making our dataset a rich multimodality resource. Courses span a broad range of subjects as shown in Figure 8. Among the 86 courses, a subset of 15 courses also have temporal segmentation boundaries, which we refer as the courses with segmentation and the remainder 71 courses as the courses without segmentation. Our lecture segmentation approach involves three stages as shown in the figure. In the first stage, we divide a lecture into small clips of 10 to 15 seconds. We then extract the visual clip features and text features using the pre-trained models. In the second stage, we transform the features from off-the-shelf models into lecture-aware embeddings as depicted in the block B of the figure. The joint text video embeddings are learned by leveraging visual, textual, and OCR cues and are trained on a pretext self-supervised task of matching the narration with temporarily aligned visual content using the max margin ranking laws. Finally, in the third stage, we extract clip and transcript embeddings from our model, concatenate them, and pass them to the PWA pinch, which produces a clustering as shown in block C of the figure. Training procedure involves pre-training the embedding model on the courses without segmentation and fine-tuning it on courses with segmentation. It is important to note that we do not train on the segmentation task itself. Instead, we train on the proxy text video alignment task and so fine-tuning on the courses with segmentation is fine. We evaluate the segments obtained from DW Finch using five different metrics which are NMI, MOF, F1 score, IOU, and boundary score at K. Let us have a look at the quantitative results. This table shows the performance of our segmentation method compared with several baseline approaches. It can be seen that our approach outperforms all the baselines comfortably. Also, our embedding model learns good representations. Since educational lecture videos are very different compared to instructional videos, the representations learned from instructional videos may not transfer well to the tasks in the education domain. We validate this claim by showing that pre-training on AV lectures is more effective than pre-training on the general instructional videos such as How to Handle Them. We can see that a model pre-trained on AV lectures that is CWOS, outperforms a model pre-trained on how to handle them consistently. In this figure, we can see the segmentation outputs for three video lectures from different courses. It is clear that our method yields better segments and boundaries as opposed to the other methods that produce noisy segments. An additional problem that can be addressed using the embeddings learned from our model is the text-to-lecture clip retrieval task. Given a text query, we retrieve a list of lecture clips for which the similarity scores with the text query are the highest. We can see that our model is able to relate the visual notion of graphs with the word graph and similarly for other queries as well. Thank you for listening. Please visit our project page for more details on dataset and code.